Hi guys, happy Tuesday. Um, I hope everyone is safe and well. Um, I am back, I was off last week, so I feel uh, refreshed and replenished and ready to, to face a new week. Um, so I am doing something a little bit different today. Um, I hope it's gonna work. Um, basically today my video is a letter to my younger self. And when I say my younger self, it's not really just my younger self. It's it's kind of a collective younger self. Um, I enlisted the help of some friends again this week because, of course, everyone's experience is different. And I didn't want to just talk from my own point of view um, because, you know, I can do that in my own time. Um, so I asked everyone the same question. If you could go back in time and say something to your teenage self, what would it be? Um, so thank you everyone that responded to my question. Um, and if you're watching, um, maybe have a think about that. Maybe have a think about that question. Um, you know, and, and see what answer you come up with. Um, my inspiration for this video really was um, thinking about my own youth and the things that I worried about. And you know, when you're young, things kind of feel all encompassing. Um, they can feel huge and they feel like they last forever because they do I suppose if you're looking at it relative to the amount of time that you've been alive like as a percentage you know I suppose um, when you're young difficult times do last for a significant amount of your life because you haven't been alive for very long um, but I think also when you're young you lack the perspective of an older person um, you have less life experience to draw on, of course you do, you know, that's perfectly normal. And um, when I think about my own youth, I think about how affected I was by people's words and actions, and how much of my own worth and value I assessed based on how other people viewed me. And actually how much of that I took into adult life as well. Um... And I often think about what I would say if I could go back and talk to my teenage self um, and how that might change things, you know, how it might change my experience. Um, and then I think, you know, did all of that happen for a reason? Would it have changed my path? Um, I mean, that's getting a little bit deep, but, you know, just trying to explain some of the rationale behind my wanting to do this video. Um... But sometimes I think about it, you know, the opposite way around too. Like if I could time travel when I was younger and go into the future and see how my life turned out and what I'd end up doing, um, would it have changed the way I felt or reacted or, you know, the person I was when I was younger? So, um, yeah, it's, it's a lot to think about there. Initially, I thought, you know, this would be a really good exercise and something really positive for the young people that I work with um you know to read or to listen to maybe it would give them some perspective or some reassurance that maybe what they're going through is normal um you know and and you know reassure them that things do get better but then i thought actually i'm going to change it from teenage self to younger self um because i reckon even now i've got some wise words for you know the me of 10 years ago it doesn't necessarily have to be when you're a teenager um we all learn and we all grow and we acquire experience as we get older and we gather evidence that challenges what we once thought of as the gospel truth. Um, and you can challenge something that you thought about or ruminated over, you know, a few days ago or a few weeks ago. This doesn't have to be, you know, knowledge or experience that you've gathered over years and years and years. Um, so I'm hoping this letter will be beneficial for everyone in some way whether you're currently teenaged or middle-aged or whatever age you are, I'm hoping that something will resonate with you within this letter, um, whatever you're going through. You know, sometimes, we don't know what, you know, each other is going through, but sometimes, you know, you hear something just at the right time and it helps. So I'm kind of hoping that, that that's what's going to happen here. 
Um, and, you know, even if something doesn't resonate with you now, maybe you'll remember something within this chat today that, you know, hits home for you maybe in a few days or a few weeks. Um, and it will help in some way. Um, so if you are watching, say hi. Um, it always helps to know who I've got. I can see that I've got Charlotte um, watching me. Hi, Charlotte. I hope you're well today. I can see like a little number in the corner, but I don't know how this works. I don't know if it's that, you know, only shows me who's watching if I'm friends with them on Facebook or whatever. I'm not sure. So if you are watching, then do say hi, pop a comment underneath. Um, so yeah, a yet letter to my younger self. Um, and I've handwritten it, guys. I've handwritten this letter. Um, let's hope I can read my handwriting because it's not often that I have to write um, much these days. Um, so yeah, it felt really special to do this um, and really therapeutic. And I, it felt, you know, I felt really privileged to have had a little bit of an insight into people's lives too. Um, so here goes. And please can we all say a prayer that I don't cry reading this because like it actually feels really sentimental to me right now. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> Hi, I can see Naomi's watching. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. I hope everyone's well today. So, dear younger self. Hi, how are you? I just thought I'd drop you a line because I know that you've been having a tough time lately and I wanted to tell you that everything is going to be okay. I promise you. You are not ugly. You are so much more than a series of numbers on a scale. Anyone that takes the mick out of your appearance is clueless. Remember, happy people don't say mean things. So be you, don't change for anyone because you'll grow up to be wonderful exactly the way that you are. Keep the attitude, but just know where to use it. Be kind to your parents. They are doing the best they can and they love you. Your mum is pretty much always right and you should probably help her with the chores more. Being called a geek or a nerd or smart are meant as insults, but they are not insults. You'll be the one with the exciting opportunities going far in life. The ones that called you those mean names? Well, who knows where they'll be. Success happens from hard work, not luck. Work hard. You may think it looks cool to be seen as a bit dumb, but don't take any notice of this. Knowledge is powerful and success is attractive. Remember to do your English coursework. You can redo your qualifications as an adult, but it's harder. It's okay not to know what you want to do when you grow up. You'll figure it out. Life is tough and there will be bumps in the road, but work hard and stay focused on your goals and don't forget to be happy. Even if you have a poor start, you can still have a strong finish. Be true to yourself and if you want something enough, it will happen. Stop worrying about what other people think. Stop trying to please everyone and be liked by everyone. It's okay not to be everyone's cup of tea. Be yourself, love yourself, respect yourself, be happy and everything else takes care of itself. Don't hold a grudge. Forgiving and moving on is much healthier. To your own self be true. You may not believe this right now, but you aren't the only one that feels like this. You're not the only one that thinks like this. You're not the only one that gets anxious or thinks no one likes them or finds stuff hard. I promise you, you are not alone. And you are more loved than you know. Know your worth. Never prioritise someone else's happiness above your own. Even that of a boyfriend or girlfriend. It's easy when you're young to be in a relationship and think, this is it, I need this person in my life to be happy. I'll be miserable alone, etc, etc. Don't waste your time with the wrong person. 
Don't hinge your own happiness or self-worth on someone else. Know your worth. Put yourself first. Believe in yourself. And don't rely on anyone else to make you happy. Don't be in a hurry to grow up. There's plenty of time for being old. Everything always works out all right in the end. And if it's not all right, it's not the end. You are enough. You are beautiful. And I love you. From your future self. God, guys. This isn't even my, well, some of it is my advice to my younger self. But it just really touched me, so I'm just going to have a moment. So I hope you found this helpful. I think we pick up so many messages and learn so many things when we're young. And lots of it is good stuff, you know, life lessons that are going to set us up for the adults we inevitably turn out to be. But some of it is not so helpful and it can give us a skewed idea of ourselves and our worth and it can be really useful to take on knowledge and our wisdom and the experience that we've learned throughout our lives and, and kind of reteach the inner child in us because we all have an inner child inside of us and I think when we kind of go back and reteach and, and reparent that that inner child it can just help us to feel a little bit more whole so um i'm not sure how many more of these i'm going to do as things kind of go back to relative normality whatever that is what even is normal um so if there is anything that you want me to talk about please let me know um because it may be that i only do a few more of these um so yeah so yeah Little, something a little bit different today um but i hope you all enjoy the rest of your day um yeah i hope it's you have a pleasant and rewarding week it's lovely to see you all and um yeah i'll see you soon bye